Hello guys, Jorif from Sharp 11 Music here. Today I want to talk about Michael Brecker's solo on Heather, which is an amazing solo, I think. It's so, so beautiful, so tense, so intense at moments. And you can hear a young Brecker and his influences there uh, with Coltrane, which we all know that are apparent in Michael's playing, but there it's even more obvious, but he does a great, a great job on this beautiful little ballad by Billy Coppum. So this time I don't want to talk about lakes because the solo in itself is so beautiful. It's not really constructed of lakes or anything. It's more like an atmosphere he's creating here. Uh, like for example, if you take a quick look at the start of the solo, the first six bars uh, with all the long notes, he actually uses the, the uh, fourth voicing like a piano would do on a G minor. He uses the G, the C and the F and the B flat. So uh... He starts on the F So to create that very open sound straight from the beginning. Just one other quick thing I like about this solo is how awesome is his high D. I really like the sound and the, the timbre of that high D. Let's listen to it. Wonderful. I sometimes just like certain notes of certain players like this high D is super open sounding with Michael Brecker. Always when he goes to that D that really touches me. Or I have the same with Paul Desmond also on the high Ds, but they sound in a different way, really airy. Or with Mariental's B with the octave key, that's the note I like when he, always when he hits that note, that's, that's for me interesting. I like bright sounds, by the way, you might have noticed. So then we come to the, the place that I actually want to look in and that's Michael Brecker's way of bending notes. That's something uh, which is really a thing in his playing and not only just the bendings and scoops up towards the note but he also does the opposite. He sometimes bends them down and where people mostly can do the bend upwards uh, the bending down is a little bit uh, yeah, more out of the box. So what Mike, Michael Brecker is doing there at that place is what I use actually for, mostly for a sound exercise. It's uh, when you would hit a note and then you try to bend it down half step, which is good for your ear and which is good for the flexibility in your embouchure. For sure, people who used to play classical and they want to loosen up their embouchure, this is a very good exercise, but also for keeping control, air control, uh, air support, it's all good for that. So for multiple uh, things, this is nice. Uh, let me show you how this uh, exercise goes. Okay, this last one could be a little bit better, but generally the idea is to take a note, let's say start on a C with, with octave key, and then you bend it down just with your lip and what you need a good support, you bend it down what you think is a half tone and try to keep it there for a second or two. So then you play a normal B with a normal embouchure again to check if you were on the right pitch. And it's kind of harder when you uh, bend it down to keep a nice and steady sound. So that's why you hear all the little little shifts in support there if you do this. So that's why it's good for your air support and so for your sound. Uh, but this is actually kind of what Michael Brecker is doing on that uh, certain spot. Um, let's listen to it once again. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another little tip I can give you uh, for trying this actual Michael Brecker line, so no, now we are not on the exercise, but it's nearly the same thing, is when you go from the B to the B flat, it helps to uh, take the B flat with the F, so you play the B like this, the normal way, and instead of going side B or with the little B key here, the B key, you can also play a B flat with the F uh, fingering. So that makes it a little bit more smooth the, the way down. It's also nice for the opposite way if you want to do a big slur on the B. Or something like that. I like to use it sometimes. Um, it's really helpful that that um, B flat. So uh, guys, try it for yourself. It's a little exercise. It's a super nice and good exercise. And if you do that, you'll be able to play this like Michael Brecker. It will also improve your scoops and bendings towards notes because you can mostly distinguish the amateur from the pro by how they use the scoops and how well. Uh, it's actually a hard thing when, because if you're not really uh, well trained in your um, support, you can clearly hear that always in the way up or there is like a big impact starting on the slur or anything. So um, you might as well now practice the opposite. So the slur down, that will really uh, make you a master of uh, the band or the slur. So that's just my two cents on the topic. I hope this was uh, useful. If you want uh, more thoughts on this transcription and more analysis, go to our Patreon page where we do that. So subscribe or like or comment or do anything you'd like uh, if you haven't and you can also follow us on Instagram to have a little bit of a follow on our personal projects, me and Timothy. And I'll see you next time.